Hey everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Um, I did already record this video and did all the code while I was recording, but annoyingly I didn't have my microphone set up, so I do apologize for that. Um, so I'm going to just kind of run through what I did basically in the video, but this time I actually add audio. So, um, yeah, basically I set up this new project just to do some multiplayer stuff while also kind of covering... Um, how to use inputs mappings a bit better and kind of bring my tutorials that I've done for the Haven project kind of up to date to 5.1 because obviously a lot of things have changed and I think a lot of people are struggling with those tutorials to get them working um, how they should right because I think a lot of it's now outdated compared to 5.1 so I want to do that but also kind of tackle it from a multiplayer standpoint um, while also kind of doing a little bit of a passion project for myself so I, I kind of covered sprinting in this in the recording so that's what I'm going to do um, I, what I did basically was I created a new input action mapping for sprint and I added that to the um, IMC default and I made it left shift because I always use left shift to be fair uh, and that was all I did for the actual action mapping itself as for the animations, the, everything is basically how it was when it kind of loaded up 5.1. So I've not really changed anything in that kind of schemes. The only thing I did do is I went into the walk run and I changed the walk to 250 um, just to make sure. And also made sure kind of what the speed was all set up. I didn't want to change anything too much. Um, I just wanted to keep this very, very simple. In the third person character, this is what I've done thus far. Um, because um, the input action sprint has gone on to the IMC default, I haven't had to do anything with any of this either. I've kind of left all that alone um, and just got this working from a multiplayer standpoint. So I called the input action mapping sprint, which you can call because it was in the, in the IMC. Um, and I did test a few things on here. So it is working for me. Uh, so hopefully if you follow along, it'll be working for you also. So I created two custom events, one called Sprint on Server and one called Sprint on Client. If you click on the Sprint on Server first, on the right hand side you've got this section here that says Replicates. To replicate it all you need to do is click on this drop down and click on Run on Server and that's everything you need to do for the server side of things. I also added in a boolean on the inputs called Sprinting. On the second custom event that we've called Sprint on Client, instead of clicking on Run on Server or Run on Owning Client, I clicked on Multicast. And this will run it for everyone, um, to everyone else, basically. So you run one on the server and you run one on for everyone else, so everyone sees basically what's going on. And that's done on that re Replicate section as well. And that's how it runs on the client. Then I've basically called the Sprint on Client function. And plug that into the sprint on server so it kind of runs everything down right uh, and then from the sp sprint on client that's where we do what we do normally which is the um, setting of the max walk speed and again on true I've made it 500 for sprinting and 250 on the false for walking and we've pulled that from our character movement and also on the character movement I've just set the max walk speed to uh, it should actually be 250 but I, it, for me it's set to 300 but yeah set that to 250 so that it w walks at the speed where you want your walk animation to play uh, and then all I've done is from triggered so the reason I've pulled off triggered is because um, we want it to constantly be calling this so it knows it's always knows it's sprinting and then on completed so when we let go of the button it stops the sprinting so and you can literally just press yes and no on the sprinting we've set up on the sprint on server so we're calling the sprint on server when we trigger everything and we end everything and we set our sprinting to true on triggered and false on completed and that runs that through down here and it goes okay this is what we run for us our server and that runs straight into our client and that's what where the code actually runs on the client so it kind of like it's it's kind of I, I kind of think of it like a waterfall effect. It's water falling through all of the server and the clients, so that everyone can see what's happening, and it knows what it's triggering at the same time. 
Um, and as long as you follow those, those steps, um, you should have something that works like this. So we have our client and our server running everything. You can see it's walking. And when I press sprint, it w works for both players because it's running through the server and the clients and updating everything that that player is doing to both clients. Uh, it's a bit difficult to show you because I'm running one in the window, but if I was to do it on here as well, you'd be able to see the same thing. It runs exactly the same, but it runs for both. And they can both see it. And it's as simple as that, guys. Um, so hopefully that was useful to you guys um, if you're running a multiplayer and also for running these uh, sprints. Obviously, if you're not doing a multiplayer, just literally take this out and run it in here instead uh, and just say when it's triggered you set the sprinting to true um, and you would set your max walk speed and on completed you would set it back to 250 and you wouldn't even need the boolean in, in honesty uh, because um, you could just run these these codes get rid of the branch and just say on triggered set it to 500 and on completed set it to 250 and you wouldn't have to do any of the other stuff uh, because you're not running it through the client for example um, but obviously from the multiplayer standpoint the the the, uh, the boolean just helps run the branch and run everything through um, so yeah as for this project it's just something I'm doing for fun while I'm doing the Pokemon stuff the, the Pokemon clone is more important to me obviously but there's a lot of kind of making sure everything's right and working through it before I can show you guys so this just gives me something to show you um, while I'm also doing the other stuff and I'm fixing that sort of stuff. Um, but I'm going to be adding as much as I can. I want to make it. I want to see how far I can push 5.1 uh, and Unreal as a whole, and and sort of keep adding things to this MMO and, and sort of see how far we can push it. Um, so, if you have any ideas of what you want to see added, um, just anything goes um, from a real life standpoint. Um, I want to add as much as I can. Drink like you know, eating, drinking. And all the different aspects in real life that you have from that, I want to add into this. Think of it like a, a, a sort of Sims on steroids. Um, that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, it's like a GTA Sims kind of hybrid, but just like ramped up to 10 sort of thing. That's what I'm going for. I mean, the likelihood is that something will break at some point because there's going to be a lot in here or it's just going to be an incredibly laggy mess. But we'll see how far we can push it and, and what we can add and what we can't add. Um, and I just want to keep going so just if there's something you think of that you want to see added just let me know and we'll add it and we'll just add more and more and more until we have kind of like a fleshed out world where you can kind of do almost anything um, and of course we'll add like missions in and stuff and make it fun but I just want to see what we can do and where we can push it um, and um, yeah and if you have any ideas please just put them in the comments I'll, I'll add them to a list and I'll just work through them um, but we've added sprinting, that's the first thing done, walking and sprint is done, uh, let's see what else we can add on a multiplayer kind of level, um, and we'll go from there, but thank you so much guys for watching, um, don't forget to like, comment, sorry I didn't do it on screen, it's just purely because um, I didn't add my microphone in for some reason, I don't know what happened there, um, but hopefully the recording is working now, and, um, and yeah, obviously if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, it's free to do, and you can always change your mind, and hopefully... As we go on, we'll be adding in lots of interesting different tutorials from this this sort of series alone. Um, and of course, the Pokemon stuff still going on. I've got some ideas for the Resident Evil as well um, that I want to add in. So there's lots of stuff happening um, over the next... Once my voice is a lot better, I'll be ramping up the tutorials a little bit more back, back to sort of one a day if I can. Uh, but just for now, it's been a bit sort of wish-washy. It's when my voice feels fine and I can actually uh, talk and, and not sound... Um, completely awful so hopefully this hasn't been too bad so but uh, you know i'll see you next time and thanks so much for watching take care much love bye